Главная. Helen Sharman becoming the first Briton in space. She blasted off with two Soviet cosmonaut repairmen on a mission designed chiefly to repair the aging Mir space station that has been orbiting the globe for five years now. Miss Sharman, a 27-year-old chemist who formerly worked for the Mars Candy Company, won the spot aboard the Soviet flight in a British contest that advertised, astronaut wanted, no experience necessary. She has been learning Russian and the techniques of space travel and experimentation for the past 17 months. Cosmonauts Anatoly Artsenbarsky and Sergei Krikalev will spend five months and plan a record eight walks in space as they go about repairing the Mir station and the attached Kavant astrophysics labs. Ms. Sharman is to spend eight days in space conducting medical and agricultural experiments. She will be speaking with British school children by radio. British experiments were scrapped for a lack of money. She will return to Earth with Viktor Afanasyev and Musa Manarov, the eighth crew to man the station. They have been in space since December 2nd. Miss Sharman's parents, John and Linda Sharman of Sheffield, England, were in the Soviet Union to watch their daughter make history. Steve Hurst, CNN, Moscow. The countdown is on for the Space Shuttle Columbia. Liftoff is scheduled for this Wednesday morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida. For the first time in over five years, a space lab module will be going into space. Columbia's mission is devoted entirely to medical research, with three doctors and one cell biologist performing tests on the astronauts as they orbit Suspended the from parachutes to a touchdown in Soviet Central Asia, Lawrence McGinty looks at that unique mission. As Helen Sharman's Soyuz spacecraft docked with the Mir station last Monday, it was the realization of a dream that started more than two years ago. On Mir, she rapidly conquered any nervousness she might have felt and found time to share a joke. Her amiability was undisturbed, even when her Soviet commander tactlessly said a woman's place was in the kitchen, not the cosmos. The scientific experiments she took part in weren't going to win any Nobel Prizes, but it was nevertheless a British first. This morning, it was warm farewells from the two cosmonauts staying behind to the Mir crew being relieved and to Helen. They passed through the hatch into their Soyuz craft, which undocked from Mir, and just before half past 10 this morning, fired its retro rockets. Less than half an hour later, they were parachuting to Earth, watched by mission control. In Sheffield, her father got the good news. Great, great, lovely. As the champagne flowed, her father reflected on the dangers she'd faced. I think today was probably more tense than any of the other aspects. There were, th there were three sort of um, critical stages. There's obviously the launch, the docking and the re-entry. Um, and I suppose the very fact that we were there for both of the other two made, made life a little easier for them from that point of view. But this morning's was the most tense one, I think.